What a glorious thing to be A healthy grown-up busy busy bee Filing away the passing hour Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. This is number seven in the workshop tooling series. Uh, I think it'll probably be a two-part, uh, just to break it up a bit. Um, and uh, it's going to follow a slightly different pattern in as much as I shall be uh, filming, if that's the right word, videoing the uh, process as it goes along rather than doing a, a retrospective. So uh, let's hope it works. And uh, the subject is um, a lantern chuck for the lathe. Over to the workbench and I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that. Okay, so what do we mean by a lantern chuck? Um, it's a uh, specialised piece of um, tool holding, uh, specifically in this case for holding um, bolts for shortening consists of two main parts the, the shank which this portion fits in the lathe chuck up against this stop there's a threaded portion here with a central hole this hole um, has a protruding rod and the screw on portion of the chuck here with these reliefs screws on to the shaft and as this um, portion uh, bears up through here it comes against the head of a bolt which is held in a collet a very simple collet just a, a top hat section with a hole in various sizes and it pushes it up and holds it steady whilst the uh, bolt set screw whatever is uh, shortened to a specified length which is measured from this face this distance of being known as uh, uh, in this case is five millimeters these are the drawings I'm working to First off uh, will, was, will be the uh, shaft turned down to 16mm from a 32mm piece of uh, bright mild steel 20mm diameter by 4mm wide shoulder uh, an 8mm recess behind the threaded portion this is 20 mil diameter and this is 24 mil by one millimeter thread pitch. The end hole is uh, eight millimeters and reamed to a depth of 20 millimeters. Second portion, and I haven't yet decided the order of uh, machining for this, uh, is the chuck body itself. Um, needs to be internally threaded which is why I've done the um, shaft first so that I can use that as a plug gauge for when I thread the internal threading on here and uh, here's a cross section there's um, about a 15 millimeter length of uh, threaded section this area is bored to 26 millimeters a depth of 35 leaving the end plate five millimeters thick and then a through hole um, uh, 14 millimeters diameter is is bored or drilled and then bored uh, to accept the collets so that's uh, that's about sums it up. Over to the lathe and uh, we'll start on the shaft. First operation then is I've uh, chucked a piece of one and a quarter inch uh, mild steel, quite mild steel, ready to uh, form the 16mm diameter length here, 50mm long. Um, first off of course I'll uh, face the end off. Um, and I'll probably put a centre drill in there as well 
Um, I don't think it'll need any extra support, but you never know when it might be needed to be held. Right, off we go then. That'll do. Wind the cross slide out of the way. So that uh, I can bring up the tail stock. Start off the centre the centre. a spotting drill just to give the centre drill a fighting chance rather than trying to break off So it's centre drill. There we go. long gaps I'm afraid but uh, so I insist on putting everything away after I've used it so now let's see let's um, find my pen mark 50 mil is roughly there is drying out
That's my pin top now. There we go. Fifty mil. Yes, I know. It's an abuse of the tool. But we're cheap and replaceable. And it hasn't even marked very well, so it's not critical. You get the idea. I'll do the rest off camera and uh, bring you back for the finishing cut. Well, uh, that took a little while, but uh, it's now down to a shade over 16 millimeters in diameter along this section, and I'm just about to take the final cut. I'm running at about 900 RPM with the VFD set at uh, 60 hertz.
Moving on, let's check the final dimension. And, uh, that have a shade over, but that's not going to uh, be too bothering. Ten microns over. Uh, point one, I mean. I'm not going to worry about that. Just uh, take this, swap this tool out, and break the edges on these two corners take it out, swap it end for end and do the next section. Yeah, I just realised that I hadn't uh, magged down the camera stand so possibly the previous shots were um, a bit wobbly. If they were, I apologise. Anyway, um, I swapped the workpiece end for end. I was going to part it off but uh, it would have left me with a fairly sizeable chunk um, and why parted off when I've got a perfectly serviceable band saw. So I band sawed it off over length and uh, I'm now going to uh, turn down the outer diameter so that uh, I end up with the section here with a, a band on it, a small gap, and then turn the outside diameter down to uh, a shade under 24 millimeters, this thread being 24 by 1 mil, and drill and ream a 12 millimeter um, hole in the end to a depth of about uh, 20 mil. All right, let's press on. The length has got to come down to 27 mil. So I'll just run a quick check on that, see how we're getting on. And we're down to I'll do it in small stages, I think.
longitudinal dimensions are super critical. And then here we go, we're on Kneecap under twenty eight. Oh, that should be here's done it to the seven. Is standing up under the cold. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? 26.85. Well, like I said, not critical. And that compares from the old. Five according to that one, so we'll go by that one. Turning the outside diameter down to uh, 24 or shade under for the threaded portion and then I'll do the reliefs afterwards. I was 32, that is now 28 or 27.8 if you wish to be precise at this stage. Uh, 27.8, so I've got to take another four off. Um, I think, in fact, I'll only take three. That's three off the diameter.
25.7 I think I'll up the speed so this finish is not good there so A1 B1 Check it before I show you. It's a shade under 24, that'll do for me. Uh, next operation is to cut the relief here behind the threaded section to leave that ready for turning down to 20mm. I've got to go down to a diameter of 18mm across this section, which is 8mm uh, eight, eight long. I'll start first with a plunging cut with the uh, parting off tool uh, this is as we know 24 it's got to go down to 18 so that's six I'm going to do down three mil each side <laughs> That's twenty. It's just a little over 18 as far as I can tell, but I'm going to take the rest of the 
section out so that I can get a more accurate reading with the calipers. And that's got to be 15. Excellent. Let's go up the carriage. And off we go again. Two passes, I think. In fact, I think I'll swap out that one and replace it with the braised carbide one. Eighteen point one, that'll do for me. I'll just bring this down to twenty mil. Bring the speed up again. Oops. 
see if I can bring it back in the right place. end so that the uh, thread cutting tool gets a bit of a fighting chance to start. I'm going to now drill the end. Um, I think it's 12 mil. I'll check that on the drawing. Uh, ream it and uh, then we're ready to start the threading. A good job I checked the drawing because it is in fact an 8mm hole, so here we go with the centre spot. It's in order to cut a one millimetre uh, pitch thread, I've changed the wheels over to a 45 tooth, an 80 tooth and a 30 tooth according to my gear chart. That should give me a one in, uh, not a one inch, a one millimetre pitch. 
Uh, in fact, uh, because it's the first time I've used the lathe with the VFD and the three-phase motor, I've cheated a bit and I've done a scratch pass already. Um, I will try to get a picture of it, but I'm not very hopeful with this camera. And it is just a very light scratch pass, but putting the gauge on there, it does uh, engage with the scratch pass and tells me it is one millimeter pitch. So I'll reposition the camera and we'll press on with cutting the thread. Okay, uh, from my thread. Uh, chart I need to go in 0.65 mil deep to form the thread. I'm using a full form thread uh, insert so uh, strictly speaking that should uh, indicate when I'm on there. Well, unbeknownst to me, plastic camera battery died and I didn't manage to get the uh, footage of uh, cutting the thread, but it's finished now and uh, there's the evidence. That then concludes the manufacture of the shaft and uh, the next video will be the uh, basic machining and the thre internal thread cutting of the body. I think in retrospect it uh, will probably turn out to be a three-parter so uh, I'll leave the minor parts to the third section and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Anyway, if you have been, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.